G'day mate, Clinton Anderson here. Well on this month's No Worries Club digital download, I'm gonna be showing you an exercise that actually Kristen is the one that kind of invented it and came up with it and I thought it was just a cool idea. I'm grateful to have Kristen present this exercise to you. I think you'll learn a lot and enjoy it and I know your horse will benefit from it. I'm Kristen Hamaker. I am a Clinton Anderson professional clinician. Today I'm going to show you actually a new exercise that I don't believe we've shown anybody. We've done it in uh, the academy a little bit and we've done it in some areas that horses needed extra help. It's not something that we're going to use on every single horse, but it does help your horses get a lot softer on the halter and lead rope. Today we are actually going to be demonstrating the new exercise with a two-year-old colt. His name is Rip. So Clinton bought Rip about two weeks ago. So far, he's honestly only had, he's had two weeks of training, but so far he's actually a really nice cult. He is still a stud, but you would never know it. He's never nickered, he's never whinnied, he's never noticed a mare. He's actually really good-minded. He's very athletic. Uh, I can already feel that he's gonna be pretty talented. I've done some rollbacks on the fence, and if I pull that rein into the fence, I can already feel him kind of grab his hindquarters and uh, come through that turn. I think he's gonna have a lot of feel in his face. I, literally today was the third time he's been ridden in a snaffle, so he's pretty green. But you can already tell, like, he, he wants to be good. He wants to be, he just wants to get along. He, he doesn't wanna be in trouble. He wants to kind of help you out. He wants to do his job. And so I'm really excited about him like already when I do a rollback he's already uh, turning into the fence and kind of folding in half and just getting that bending and and feel to him that that our you know Clinton's program really compliments so I'm really excited about him um, I, I've I, there's another part of him that I've not felt in another cult to be totally honest uh, I've been doing the performance horses five years and actually this is I think year six. This is year six of doing the Colts. And this horse has something special. So I, I, I hate to say that out loud because I don't want to jinx him, um, but he just has a charisma about him. Like he's, he's already kind of, um, kind of bright eyed and just wants to get in there and do his job. He kind of reminds me of Marty a little bit, just having that little charisma. I feel like he's kind of gritty, he's good-minded, and so I really hope that this is eventually going to be a, a, a really outstanding show horse for Clinton. So this new exercise I want to show you guys today with Rip, he's been doing it for about four days. So he's been in fundamentals training with us for about two weeks now, but this particular exercise I've done with him for about four sessions now. So it's not perfect by any means. It's a lot better than when it started. And if I had another three or four days of actually practicing this exercise, I think I'd be really happy with it. Today, I'm gonna to show you what he knows and we'll just kind of go from there. I'm actually going to practice today like it's just another training session. Like you guys are a fly on the wall and I wouldn't do anything different off camera as what I'm gonna do today on camera. So the reason we do the come to me exercise is every once in a while, every maybe two out of 10 horses is gonna need a little extra attention in the lunging. So let's say it's an older horse who's been allowed to lean on the halter and lead rope and he's just kind of piggish. Um, and he's just, he's just, you've done the fundamentals with him but he's just not gotten quite as good as you want. Like he's, he's technically coming off the halter and he's technically got a little bit of slack here and there, but there's just that area that he's kind of lagging. That's where this come to me exercise comes in. So that's why we have not put this in the actual method because not every horse is gonna need it. So when you have that horse that has that little extra uh, resistance, this is where you'll actually come and after you've done the fundamentals with him, you'll actually do this exercise with him. Now for the majority of horses, eight out of 10, as long as you do your fundamentals well and you move into intermediate, 
all those exercises take care of that resistance and get that softness. But some horses need a little extra attention, a little more motivation to get off that halter. So this exercise is perfect for that. So I'm gonna get started with Rip and we'll just see what happens. So with Rip, I've already done a lot of the driving pressure. So the last, the last week and a half, I've done a lot of driving, keeping him out of my space, making sure he's respectful, I have control of his feet. Um, and so now I'm gonna be more focused on the draw. So you'll notice when I sent him off, I didn't really ask for a super energetic departure. I, Rip is a very sensitive cult. I don't want him to start out worried and frazzled and, and um, not wanting to be around me, if that makes sense. So at times, I might have to wake him up and get him going, but just to start out, I just wanna start just a little more relaxed and not kinda hustling and getting after him. So here I might just yield and just double check my hindquarters. So you see how he's not crossing real well? I'll just stay there and just keep yielding until I'm happy with that yield. Now I'll just send him off that new direction. So I'm gonna spend the first little bit here doing lunging for respect stage one. So this new exercise, you see how Rip is getting really close to me? I've got a lot of slack in the lead rope here. This is what I'm actually looking for. So usually Rip comes out here and he's a little more fresh and, and feeling good, he, you know, he stays in a stall, so he's usually playing a little bit. So he's actually doing pretty good starting out. Now we've only started at the trot, so once we start at the lope, he might be fresh and jumping around and playing a little bit more, but he's actually starting out pretty good. So I'll just look at the hindquarters. Now if I have to, I'll use my stick and string and spank that hindquarters there. But notice how I'm gonna keep yielding that hindquarters until he keeps his front feet still, pivots, and steps 360 degrees around his hindquarters. So I'll send him in the new direction. Now if he gets a little lazy, see I was just a little confused? I'll just use that stick and string up by his neck to send him out on that circle. If he offers to lope, that's all right. Not necessarily looking for it right now, but if he offers it, great. So I like to start out at the trot and just kind of see where I'm at from the day before. I like how much slack he's got in the rope. Now I just want to be careful that I don't have so much slack that if he gets close to me, he steps on that lead rope and it discourages him because it's going to jump it's, it's gonna uh, jerk on his nose. So I just kind of pick up my hand a little bit. So he's doing pretty good. I'll yield, excellent, two eyes. Wait. Now if he didn't wanna wait for me and he started to go the opposite direction, or go the opposite direction before I asked, I would just bump on his nose and send him the original direction. Or if I just felt like he didn't wanna stand here and just wait, I might just make him wait here. So we'll send him on, good. Okay, yield. So now, Rip is doing pretty well at the trot, but I've not even actually shown you the exercise just yet, because I haven't had, it, had to. He's actually been behaving himself really well, so I haven't actually had to show you what I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and do it at the lope. So this is where Rip needs a lot more practice, is with this exercise at the lope. He's kind of making me a liar. He's doing pretty well right now. So he's actually starting to learn to conserve his energy. Do you see how he's almost kind of troping, like a little bit of in between a lope and a trot? That's actually a little bit of a nice problem to have as long as he's got a good attitude. Because he's starting to realize he's not sure how long he's gonna be actually loping this circle. That's pretty good. Point. Good. I like that he's picked up the correct lead. I've been getting a lot pickier about that. In the beginning, you'll notice with another horse when we start the teaching stage, I'm not gonna necessarily worry if he's on the correct lead or not. Because when I'm changing the expectation or I'm changing the rules to the exercise, 
I've got to give up some of those priorities. So worrying about the correct lead, I'm not worried about. Now Rip's done this a little bit longer, that if he picks up the incorrect lead, I might speed him up. Okay, now I just look, yield. Now I'm, I'm not real happy with that yield, so I'll just stay in there until he gets it right. White, now point, send him the new direction. Excellent. Now if he didn't lope off, I'd point, and then I might need to even spank him on the hindquarters. So on this side, you notice how he's a lot farther away from me? So now I'm gonna kinda show you what I was hoping to get to work on. So when I pull this lead rope in toward my belly button, I want Rip's whole body to come into this circle. I want him to be thinking that I'm the oxygen tank. Now, if I pull on this lead rope and he doesn't come in toward me into that circle and create more slack, I'm actually gonna drive him forward with the stick and string toward his hindquarters. Okay, so I'm gonna pull in. There we go, ask him to lope again. So they're gonna drop to a trot and they're going to make some little mistakes here. I'm gonna pull pressure there. So now, you see how I've pulled that lead rope, but he still didn't come in? Well, I couldn't pull that lead rope any farther. So I actually had to back up. Spank, forward. I actually had to back up to keep tension on that rope and encourage his body to come in to that circle. That's a little better. See how the, there's a little bit of a wave in the lead rope? See how he's leaving me again? Pressure, might shorten up on that rope, come on. Pressure with the hind quarters. Pressure, good, he came in to me and they'll ask for that lope again. So I need him to feel more uncomfortable on this side when he's away from me. Better. Pull back up. Pressure that hindquarters, come on. Get up here. So I don't necessarily have to spank real hard. One, I've already done my job getting his feet moving before I've done this exercise. And two, Rip is a pretty sensitive cult. So it doesn't take a lot of pressure with the stick and string to make him feel uncomfortable. Good. So you might go around this circle 50 times until he just gets, I'm gonna drop it down to a trot. Why? Because I feel like he's not, there we go, kind of connecting me with the oxygen. There we go. So sometimes you'll actually speed this exercise up into the lope and you don't, just don't feel like the horse is understanding what you're looking for. So just break it down to a trot. Now I might even give him just what I call just a little mini break and let him just stop parallel. I'm not gonna make him stop parallel beside me and really realize, hey, if you come into me, you'll get a little rest. You'll get a little oxygen. So sometimes you'll do just a little mini break to give him a chance to figure out the puzzle. Okay, that doesn't mean we're done. We're not finished, I'm gonna send him off again. Want more? Get more. The No Worries Club is the best way to get the most out of your training experience. Stick around to find out more. Hey mate, Clint Anderson here. For the past 20 years, I've devoted my life to creating the best training tools and videos available to help bring my method to you. But there's only one problem. You can't bring your TV into the arena. <laughs> That's why we've been hard at work developing a new platform to deliver the method to you in a whole new way. A way that brings 20 years of horsemanship and puts it in the palm of your hand. Introducing the mobile method. It's part of the new Down Under digital experience and it makes learning the method easier than ever before. Let me show you how it works, mate. 
Now you can always have access to the method, even when you're on the go or at the barn. The Down Under Horsemanship app gives you access to your digital training kits and allows you to download videos and training content directly to your mobile device or view them on your computer. The Down Under Horsemanship app also offers over 86 hours of free in-depth training content. No worries, club members will have full access to Clinton's ever-growing training library and a massive amount of members-only features and information. And the best part is, you can view and interact with each lesson on your mobile device or computer, giving you ultimate access to the method anytime and any place. The method is the key to getting the most out of your partnership with your horse. We want everybody to experience the difference it will make. That's why we created three new ways for you to get the training content you need at the price you want. Our basic level allows you to purchase and download training content to your device at our standard price with no annual fee. When you become a No Worries Club member for $19.99 a month, you get up to 50% discount on any of your purchases. Plus, you get eight digital videos and four digital journals a year and access to the No Worries Club website, the largest collection of method material and resources in the world. Plus, you can become part of our social network and chat with thousands of other folks just like you. If you want the ultimate experience, mate, the premium membership is for you. You get all the benefits of the No Worries Club, a printed copy of our No Worries Club quarterly journal, and access to all of the method and the professional series kit training videos. Altogether, that's thousands of dollars of horse training and 20 years of horsemanship delivered right to your fingertips. So there you have it, folks. The new mobile method app is the easiest and most effective way to deliver the maximum amount of knowledge at a minimal amount of time. And with the new No Worries Club, you can be assured you're going to get exactly what you need at a price that's right for you. It's a free download, so what are you waiting for, mate? Get started today. Start your digital training experience today. Visit our website and download the Down Under Horsemanship app to experience the method in a whole new way.